I think there's a, so for robots to be safe, um, there, there, there's, there's physics that you have to deal with, right? So if I have a really long arm with a very heavy weight that's moving really quickly, I'm gonna hurt somebody. And regardless of how good the control system is, it's not gonna be able to stop that. So you've got kind of a portfolio of mm, trade-offs that you can have longer arms moving slower, longer arms with lighter payloads. Um, so I think, you see, I think you'll see um, uh, different kind of combinations. So you'll see, you know, Sawyer versions like that. I think with the advancement, I mean, one of the benefits that we've had collectively in this industry has been to ride the tech curves of other industries. I mean, if I pull the cell phone out of my pocket, I mean, it's got a bunch of accelerometers, the same kind that are leveraged in the robot. Um, you know, if you think about the processors that are in cell phones, um, you know, it's the same kind that are in these robots. I mean, so the robots are able to get much more expensive. So I think we'll continue to see these kind of robots leveraging those kind of technology curves. But I think they're talking. I think they're listening. When I learned how to crochet from my grandmother when I was eight, can I admit, can I admit that? I know how to crochet? Yeah, yeah. Great. So when I learned how to crochet, um, she didn't give me a set of instructions, right? She showed me. She said, look, do it like this. That's how you're going to interact with a robot in the future. It's not there yet. But it's going to get to the point where you say, Sawyer, I want you to do it like this, and, and it'll go do it. So you know, you'll see, ro and, and, and so you'll see more sensors, more vision, um, uh, more and more kind of feeling capability. I mean, these arms, like mine, are built out of a spring. Uh, in fact, a whole set of springs. If I jam my arm into this, my arm flexes, and then my control system says, "You're pushing on something that's not moving. Stop." Um, and that's how these robots work, too. So you'll see more and more advancements of those kind of technologies by 2030.